Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get the homebrew menu on any DSi running the latest firmware. So before the video starts, I just want to point out my DSi is completely destroyed. As you can see, the screen is kind of like the colors are inverted. It's flickering. I don't know what's wrong with it, but this is the only DSi I have. So I'm going to use it for this video. Hopefully you guys should still be able to see what's going on. Um, it's just completely messed up for some reason. So to start off with, you want to make sure your DSi has an SD card. Mine has a 2GB one and it is plugged in right now. Next, we need to go and start up the system settings. We need to make sure that our DSi is running the latest firmware. So if you have a look up here, mine is running firmware version 1.4.5. Now it will have kind of like a letter at the end. It doesn't matter what your letter is, but we're just going to scroll over. And if your DSi is not on this firmware, you want to scroll over to the last page and you want to go into system update and you basically want to connect to the internet and you want to update your DSi to the latest version. Mine's on the latest version so I can just close out of the DSi menu. So next what we have to do is go and open up the camera app. Now basically what you want to do is just go through the setup of the camera app and you want to take a picture of anything. It doesn't really matter what it is but you basically want to take a picture and put it onto your SD card. So I'm just going to select SD right here and then we just can select camera and you basically yeah just take a picture of everything so as you can see the colors are inverted on mine I'm just going to do I don't know start I'm just going to take a picture of any literally anything it doesn't really matter so I'm just going to take it around capture there you go there is a picture saved and then once we've got a picture we can just go to quit and we can actually just back out and then just click on exit and then return to menu. What we can do from here is actually just hold the power button and just go ahead and power off our DS just like that and now we can just get our SD card and actually just remove it from the console um, as I said before I've just got a basic 2 gigabyte SD card pretty old one but that is all we really need so what we have to do is get this get some kind of adapter go and connect this to our computer and I will show you what to do from there so once we are over on our computer, our DSi's SD card should actually appear. If you right clicking on properties, um, you can find out what yours is. Mine is FAT, it doesn't really matter too much. FAT or FAT32 is fine. Next is the private folder. Go into this and just make sure um, you've got this folder right here inside of app. So once you've just made sure you've got this folder, you want to go to links in the description of this video. The first link is just the memory pit link and what we have to do from here is just download the pit.zip zip file. So just click on this and that will actually begin at downloading. Next go to the second link in the description. This is where we can download the homebrew menu. So just click on this and that is also going to start downloading. We've now got two zip files. So go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded them to and just find both of the zip files. First of all we have to get the pit folder. If you double click on this you can actually find this pit.bin. You actually just want to drag that out to your downloads. And what we have to do is get pit.bin. We have to right click, go to copy, go onto our DSi's SD card, double click on private, DS, app, this random folder, and we're going to replace it. So paste it in here. There is already run in here. Click replace the file in the destination, and it's going to overwrite it to the version we just downloaded. Next, we need to go back to our downloads. So just go all the way back, and we need to find it this, the homebrew menu folder. So double click on this zip file. Um, you need to double click on the homebrew menu right here. This is what we need to find, boot.nds. So drag and drop that to your downloads as well. And this is just going to be dragged and dropped on the root of our DSi's SD card. And that is literally it for the PC. We've now got our two files over on our SD card. So let's disconnect it. Let's put it back into our DSi and let's see if we can get the homebrew menu working. Okay, so once we're back, we can actually just put in our SD card and we should just be able to boot up our DSi once we put this in. So you go SD card in, let's just hold the power button and obviously our DSi is just going to turn on. We can just tap the screen, obviously yours is not, hopefully not as glitched up as mine. And what we actually want to do from here is go and start the Nintendo DSi camera app. And once we've started up this, you just want to make sure you click on SD card and just go and click on album. 
And now it's going to kind of like enter the homebrew menu. So as you can see at the top, we have got Dev Kit Pro, homebrew menu, and we're now in here. We can go to directory, private. You can scan through your whole DS files on here. This is really cool. Last time it was quite hard to get this working because you had to use like the um, flip note, I think it was. But this is a free hack you can pretty much use on everything. So you can press A, you can go into stuff. I'm probably going to make more videos on this. The only problem is my DSi is just completely ruined and it's annoying so I'm probably gonna have to buy a new one so yeah that is pretty much it for this video it does actually have a screen down here um, but for me you can hardly see it it's I don't know what's wrong with my DS it's just completely ruined can you even see that I think maybe just yeah my DS is just completely ruined so yeah um, if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one